So you're playing the woman who really can do it all in this film. She is assistant to the star. She's a music producer. She can sing. Did you have anyone in mind when you were playing her? Was anyone you kind of based her on or took elements from when you were playing the character? I spent a lot of time with my friend Annie Clark, who um, is St. Vincent, and she's a female producer. There's, um, I did a bit of research. There's sadly not a lot of female music producers. Um, or at least ones that are known. I'm sure there are many in the world that are remarkable, but I spent time with Annie. So there was a lot of things I stole from her. Grace, obviously in the film, it, she's one of the biggest stars in the world that you get to be an assistant for. If you could pick anyone to be an assistant for, for a day, just so you could get a little insight into their life, who do you think you would, you'd like to be an assistant for? Oh my God, that's a really great question. Dead or alive? <laughs> completely your choice I'll let you have it wow let's um, go for living let's go for living just to cut it down living bit. oh okay I was going through dead okay <laughs> living um I mean I'm gonna obviously say Beyonce Beyonce is a good one though I think a lot of us would choose Beyonce yeah or like Martin Scorsese I was saying to Tracy that obviously she gets her character gets you to do some crazy things in here, like ice baths and all sorts. Mm -hmm. um, and I was saying, I don't have an assistant, but I have like made my mum kind of break in my shoes around the house because we wear the same size and stuff. So is there anything you've ever asked of an assistant that's kind of crazy like that? Or you are you quite a, a grounded individual? I like worship the ground my assistant walks on. She's the greatest oh. thing that's ever happened to me. She can, she can hear me right now. Um, <laughs> Wow. Mostly it's just like getting matchas and coffees at random times of the day. Maggie knows Grace inside out, hence why she can just help her out so much and knows what she wants with music. Is there anyone who you've got in your life like that who can just, who reads you really well? My best friend does that. Um, and and Issy does that too. <laughs> <laughs> I love that she's sitting here. I should probably ask her what's the craziest demand know. that She'd you've ever made. tell you the truth. <laughs> um, and are there any passions because obviously Maggie's passion here is music um, producing which she wants to get into is there any passions that you've got left that you know you already to a lot of people living the dream but is there anything that you still haven't managed to do that you would really love to do I have loads of things I haven't done that I want to do and even in terms of making things projects and um, I think that I would love to do more um, physically active movies or shows. So more um, like learning a skill. Yeah, like I really enjoyed working on Suspiria and learning how to dance for that. Um, and I like having to like mask, like for this movie, learning to play the piano and things like that. I really enjoy focusing on picking up some sort of a skill and then I film the movie and then I forget it immediately. <laughs> well, now is the time you can practice to your heart's content on playing the piano, which I can <laughs> see behind you. So yeah. um, it was lovely to hear you sing as well in here, Dakota. So oh, you're, you. already, you're showcasing a lot of skills as it is in, in here. So Thank good luck you. with the movie when it comes out. Thank you. <laughs>